Well, this is Bucky Ranch representing Bad Indian and the original ORS Global Radio. Bad Indian, I get to understand there's a lot of radio stations giving you a fight. But remember this, them going to work around, and what work witchcraft, drink them aisle. But tell them this, we don't know them secret, but them can't touch you. Along with I, Bucky Ranch, got fearing. Remember this. They are devious, the one that got and gladness And send out them soul and just be boss But you hear me punch line on me Say, you don't know Mr. Chess could I never be another one And I'm representing for ORS Global Radio Play music and give them ego Turn your lights down look and turn down you in the curtain Oh, our rest will come shining Into your lives again Oh, oh, I rest love you But today is on time Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I yeah. People talk like lies yeah, yeah. Who's feeling so high Okay, London Town So we're live and direct We've got Libra on the line right now Libra, let the world hear your voice Just wanna do a check Make sure everybody can hear you Peeps on the live And those who are listening live Let us know if you can hear Libra loud and clear Libra, you wanna say hello to the massive Hello, hello to the massive. All right. Everybody for joining in. And now we're joining in. On ORS. Global Radio. Big up yourself, Libra. Welcome, welcome to the program. Peeps on the, that's on the live right now. Just drop us a yes in the comment box. Let us know that you can hear Libra live and direct before we commence. Okay, so Libra, thanks again for coming in. We're just gonna get some confirmation and then we kick it off. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I want to say thank you, Marcos, for confirming that you can hear Liba live and direct. Okay, so Liba, <laughs> yes, pleasant good evening to you. I hope you're keeping yes. well and thank you ever so much for giving us this privilege of hosting an interview with you um live and direct right here on ors global radio i want to say big up to the entire team as well um before we get into this interview all right i want to say a big shout out goes out to bomak bucky ranks miss p of course i want to big up all my presenters on ors global radio as you know we work in very hard to make sure that we hit that target we've got a target we've got a plan and everything okay well this is not much about ors global it's about a phenomenal artist a legend in the business that's been around for a very long time and i'm talking about a very long time liba <laughs> welcome to the program and before we actually get into this interview I'm hoping that you've been having a good week so far. Okay, it's a Wednesday. Yes. Okay, and your week been good. Okay. Yes, you can say that. You know, I'm I'm well. I'm I'm not in the hospital or so. You know, so it's good. You know, I'm alive. It's a know, blessing. And kicking, kick yeah. It's thank you for having me. Also, and thank you for coming as well. I appreciate you taking the time out. I know you're a busy lady. You in the studio doing a lot of work and things like that. Well, thank you ever so much for um taking that time out anyway so let us get straight into it right now because um okay. i'm excited i know i don't know if you're excited as i am but <laughs> i have been excited since we've um spoken and i okay. want to just kick just get straight into it right, right. now so 
Liba, please, 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 mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. give us mm -hmm. a little bit of insight on your background in the sense of where you were born, um, mm -hmm. school okay. you attended, and given name. Okay, all right. Um, my name, my name is Liba Hibbert. Um, I am the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. The great Mr. and Mrs. Hibbert. I say, I say great for my mom too because behind every great man there's a great woman, you know. So I'm, I'm saying, you know, great to my mom too. So um, Miss, my mom's name is Miss Doreen and I'm the daughter of the skia legend Toots and the mate. <laughs> I am. Um, I was born on the second of January in Kingston. I attended um, John Mills All Age School. Um, that's in retirement crescent, you know, in Crossroads. And then we moved. The yeah. Those who know downtown, you know where Crossroads is, right? <laughs> if you don't know, when you go down yeah. there to Jamaica next time, take a trip down there. <laughs> And then um, we moved around, and uh, um, I ended up at um, doing this, um, at this, attending this next school, which was a Seventh Day Adventist school called Tutorial College. That school is no more still. That's on Mountain View, okay. and that's where yeah I ended up. Nice, very interesting, and I'm I'm sure that we know. I can see, I've seen some things, I've done a bit of research, so just to let you know, I've done my research, <laughs> because I, I had to do my research, and I'm going to drag you back tonight, I'm going to oh drag no, you I'm back, open. I'm going to, I'm okay, telling you from now, I'm going to drag you back to a place, <laughs> of, a place where you, uh, before we even get to that, let's just, keep, let's just carry on until we get to that point, all right? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so, um, Liba, obviously you're a musician, you're an artist, um, you've been around for many of time many of decades i would say um <laughs> how did your journey as a recording artist started in the industry that's something i okay. want to know about and i'm sure the listeners around the world right now would want to hear mm -hmm. that as well all right um let me see all right i grew up and i wrote music right my father played all instruments but more more popular was the keyboard and the guitar. We had those at home. So whenever we we uh, we we came home from school, we have to practice. Not like other kids who get to play. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep 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 in room, right? No, <laughs> no. Scotch on them things there. Yeah, we had to practice, practice, and we practice harmonizing and you know lead singing and you know and there so the foundation was set all right so on my first tour now i was about maybe 16 17 you know that it took us the girls because i had um there was don't, melanie don't, don't, and don't i was about to say don't spread that yet because i okay. this is part of my <laughs> go back and take you back a bit because <laughs> i wanted to talk about your sister a little bit but okay. yeah, carry on uh, uh, carry on all right so, so so my first tour now uh when i was that age um went on a u.s tour with my father and that was uh i think at that time he was touring with um the toots and toots and the memphis toots in memphis that album yes yes and okay the first time on stage no oh my god it was just so i don't know how to explain it but the delight and how my father mesmerized the audience because at home you know at home is so you grew up in a music and you you know it just coming normal to you but you see when i went on the tour and i saw what he did to the audience no, Sam, we say, no, man, this man, I know, no, man. Next, next level. Next level, right? <laughs> next level. And, you know, and that's when I said to myself, this was something that I wanted to do. So you can say I was dragged into it because we had to rehearse when we go from school. 
but when i went on the first tour that's what that was when i decided that this was what i wanted to do i want to be able to do that magic it's magical you know because the music lyrics everything is like it's medicine i i can i can agree with you because every time i'm down mm -hmm. put on a song or put on any type of music the mood just lift you know like yeah. me coming into the studio to do a radio show it gives mm -hmm. me so much pleasure coming here and mm -hmm. joy you know just thinking mm -hmm. about the music that i'm going to be playing and so forth and um it, it music is is very uplifting trust me it, 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 can, it can make you sad and it can make you happy so right. you need to find the right songs right <laughs> for the right. moment <laughs> and the right lyrics too exactly yeah. um based on what i've um because i've got some questions here that i wanted to ask but i believe that you've already answered one of those questions um in what you've just explained but i'm i'm, mm. I'm still gonna try and see if that was so before okay. let me just quickly go into that one which is can you share a memorable moment from your early days in the music industry um that influenced your path as an artist which i believe your f if, <laughs> if that is not the first <laughs> then you may have something else. Just, that's what I meant by you've already answered the question before Aww. I even asked the question. So I reckon that is one of your memorable um, moments. Yes. <laughs> well, there's another. No, well, there, there, there here comes another one. Great. <laughs> no, so no, we're no, two no, now. No. <laughs> Go for it. Fire well, off. Well, all right, all right. When I realized, I mean, when I used to open for my father right and one time when i came off stage and a fan came around to the dressing room and she was bawling and explaining to me you know like how my music and the singing you know oh she just you know just she just want to just cry emotionally she was emotional so I'm saying to myself, okay, so I'm, I'm the one. <laughs> I am just like my father, you know. <laughs> I'm not my father, but my father is definitely in me. Definitely your father, blood, as they would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, that being said, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. obviously, um, <laughs> you pursue a career in, um, in, in, in music. Um, yeah. What inspired you to um to pursue that um journey? Mm. I don't know. I just I just love music. It's got I to love stem what from it somewhere, does. Though, it? It's gonna stem from somewhere. You know, well, I they think say that it's people... born in your born. It's sometimes music. They say music born inside of some people. You know, but mm -mm. something you have to ignite it, and you must have experienced that. <laughs> My father, hello, you don't know my father, you know. I'm serious about the music, you know. So, you know, if, if, if he can put so much into the music to... My father is like a doctor then. We can't say that. Because when... Say you come from work, you had a bad day, or you come to one of his stage shows. When you leave, hello, please. <laughs> Mood change, <laughs> different person. Mood, right? different person. And if you know, when I see daddy do that, you know, about something you want to do more, you want to be able to, to to inspire, to uplift, to encourage, to heal. Music is medicine, as I said. Yeah. So you know, you must make sure your lyrics them good. You know, because you want to, you know, get the the patient <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, because um, as as I said earlier, that music it can make you sad and it can make you happy. You know, because mm -hmm. I personally, sometimes I listen to some music and I'm like, oh my days, this is actually talking about me. You know, because mm -hmm. I believe that every artist that writes a song, mm -hmm. it's something that they've experienced. Yeah. or maybe they've read something and they just decide mm -hmm. that okay you know what i'm gonna make a track out of this mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um let us move on to your studio experience 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So can yeah. you walk us through your experience in the recording studio? <laughs> all right. Um, because I love singing. All right. The only the, the difficult. I can speak of the difficulty in the studio is just fitting the emotions to the song. But other than that, it's a joy to be in the studio. And my father, as you know, he means the teacher, you know. <laughs> himself. Right. Yeah, man. Great, great, great artist. Even when we're left alone to just come up with a harmony and, you know, and say, oh yeah, man, this good man, that he's not going to be find no more. No more ways to do it. No, man. Uh -uh. He'll shock you. <laughs> No, serious. They pull something out that yeah. <laughs> pull something out that that is that is a, a wicked man, wicked and bad, bad, bad. I tell her, miss him. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. I, I was saving it, but I'll say condolences to you and the whole entire family. Um, in yeah, regards man. to the passing of the legend himself, Mister Um Toots the Bird. You know, yeah, great yeah, man, artist. That artist mm -hmm. songs cannot stop playing in dance. Mm -hmm. uh, Anywhere you I go, tell you. but mm. yeah, I I didn't want to get into that bit about his passing at this precise know. time, you know. But um, I, know. I, I, I I guess you 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 you're speaking about your dad, so I have to let you know um show my gratitude, you know. I let you know that my greatest condolences to you and the family. Um, yeah, man, definitely. Um, while we're on the topic of studio experience, um, mm -hmm. are there any memorable experience from the studio that stand out to you? So during your course of visiting the studio, <laughs> as I'm sure, mm. there's always something behind it. They, 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 you have mm. to have some form of experience. <laughs> oh my goodness! So that that was just nearly what I just told you. But you um, that he would just I don't know. But I know where him get fame something from. <laughs> but, but you can't come better than the teacher. Yeah, he yes. just knew it. And the teacher always have one little trick that he never teaches students, you know that, right? <laughs> that man said, that man said, because now man, him just, I don't know, him just, him, him, he was just born for this. Yeah, he was just born for this. Yeah. Well, as, as you have, you've, um, take on that path um in the music obviously there's a lot of th a lot of things that you had to learn and I'm, and I'm from what you're saying to me right now you've learned quite a lot of um things from your dad so um the next um point is that i want to go to is um your adaptation growth and performance so in the sense of the first question that i will ask you within this um category basically how do you feel your music have um have evolved since you first started recording <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well i would say all right right now my music you see the general generally after bringing me in big up generally because, yeah big up generally because generally him don't stop there's um he has encouraged me to do my own music yes and i did an album in 2011 2012 that was my debut album when i co-produced as well as i'm the executive producer but um that album was not a straight reggae it was just like um, a fusion of reggae with R&B. Okay. And uh, and techno. And then um, generally, you know, encouraged me while I was on tour in in 2017. 2017 with my dad. Um. I would call generally and we would discuss you know like how oh, how can i do this i'm hearing an echo i'm hearing an echo in the mind yes there's a buzzing anyway 
it. So I called generally and um, I told him what I wanted what I wanted to do. And so he he said that he was going to call Slyer because he wasn't able to come to Jamaica at the time. So he was the one who constructed that and and instruct Sly and Robbie and he told Sly to put me on the hardcore dance rhythm. You know, the hardcore reggae. Because before I was just used to doing um you know R and B lovers rock, you know, but this this um, EP has cemented me, has uh, given me a place in the hardcore reggae and dance field. Okay, um, that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to do um, at the moment, um, Aliba, I'm going to play one of your track um, before we go um, deeper into um, the um, interview. Um, apology for whatever noise you said that you're hearing. I'm not quite sure yeah. because that was perfectly fine just a while ago. Before but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to stop this interview. Um, we're going to figure that out in the end. But, um, this track I'm about to play is the track called Raga Soldier. Um, do you want to give us a little bit of insight on this track before we get into it? Oh, this 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 track called Raga Soldier was taken from my EP. Not my EP, my uh, my album called Intoxicate. I'm keep on keep on hearing this <laughs> echo, echo. It's distracting me. Yeah, man, it's distracting me. No, but everything was fine before. Oh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. So that's like all. This from is taken from my album called Intoxicated. Okay. Okay, let me just play this Raga um, Soldier and then we'll get on to this um, um song. I'll see what's happening here because I'm not quite sure what's causing that. But let's just play this track here. Is it there, yes? Okay, peeps, so you're live and direct listening to Leba, one of the legends in the business, my daughter, Mr. Toots, and of course she's also a legend herself as well, okay? This track here is titled, Raga Soja. And you know what, Leba, when, um, when I get your tracks, and I haven't played that track as yet, there's a track on there that I love that track so much. And I'm <laughs> telling you, when I hear it, I'm like, wow. That's really? my, that was my exact. You can ask Miss P. Tell her about this song. I'm like, this song, I want it on dub plate. Because nobody <laughs> is playing this song for sure. And okay. I'm going to play it in the, uh, later on in the program. But let's <laughs> carry on. I know we've got so much to talk about. 
but I'm gonna mm. try and not stretch you too much, okay? Because okay, there's cool. so much. You're you're such an interesting um, artist <laughs> to talk about. It's not that other artists are not, but based on your <laughs> background and the researches that I've done, the the, the 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 concerts that I've seen you perform at, which we're gonna touch on a little bit of those as well. Uh, I, I just like you know what I've been buzzing. This is why I end up making that call yesterday. I said, this have to be fixed. And I told you yesterday, <laughs> and I'm telling you today again, the devil is a liar. This have to happen. Okay? Yeah, so, okay. let us move on to some challenges and successes um, throughout your um, career. Um, what are some of the significant challenges you have faced in your career, and how did you overcome them? Well, the most... Um, I would say it's just outside energy. Yeah, I would call them bad mind people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Judas, them man, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that would that that's what I would say because music sweet and it, you know brings people together, you know, and people happy. Indeed. But these people, they are there, they are outside there to tear you apart. Yeah, some of them is like that, you know, it's not all of them, mm -hmm. um, I would say. I know. You know, that, mm -hmm. you're going to find majority of them, and it's, and it's unfortunate as well um, that it's um, it's your own race that right. tends to be that person that's trying to pull you down. As they say, my grandmother always said this, cabin barrel, isn't it? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. What crab, crab in barrel, crab stay in barrel? What are you talking about? But then you realize the significance of that um conversation. Oh, if one mm -hmm. crab is trying to come out, that but the rest pull him down. It's facts. The rest are pulling down. It's facts. Yeah, it's exactly. Facts. Um. Yeah. So the next question I want to ask is um, what do you consider as one of your most significant career milestone or successes? <laughs> um. Anything. Anything that um, uplifts or like, takes me to that next level. It doesn't matter how small or you know how big. It's still success to me. You know, like anything that. You're very appreciated, lady. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I appreciate it. Everything, everything. You know, you have everything to. combining. Yeah, so. That's what I would say, you know. After indeed. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to feature another chat from you because I don't want us to be talking um, just like that because, yes, we do have quite a lot to go through, but I guess people still do need to... Um, who doesn't know who Libra is and her songs, we need to feature these songs as well. And um, that specific song that... Um, I was talking, I was saying to you earlier that I want to drag you back a little bit in relation mm -hmm. to, um, yes, you started out early. Mm -hmm. Yes, you didn't have that. Well, you may have had that opportunity to be outside with other kids, but your dad know mm -hmm. what his plan was for you and obviously yeah. the family. Hence why he said, listen, this is what I want you to do. And look at you now. Grown yeah. woman, <laughs> rocking audience all around the world. Producing sure. and delivering okay. some excellent music. Okay. And as I said, I'm taking you back because mm. I did a bit of research. Yes, mm -hmm. when I play this track, mm -hmm. then I want you to talk about this track. Or did you? Cause mm -hmm. I remember this track because I used to play this track. Hence okay. why I've gone all the way back and picked this specific track. And this track is with you and your sister so you're going to talk about Ooh your la sister la. a little bit Ooh yes. la la. well there is one there but this is one that i, I like both of them but this one i love okay. this one so much never get never get there oh. here you go <laughs> oh i heard you know that radio Wait, me turn and tell the people that we're musically proud. Listen, people, this is one of the top song in the back in the days in the 90s. Every club you go, you hear it.
it's a lever. You see, when I used to yeah. play the song, and when that chorus Japanese the you know, whole entire club are dance singing, Lord, you don't want to stop playing the song. Let me play it a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, I tell you, and it's fact, you know, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, yeah, this a, is the interesting bit that I want to talk about. Yes, okay, this yes. song here. I know, you know, the entire world know, the listeners and the viewers know, this is a big song, and it still is a big song. I don't hear a lot of DJ play this song, you know. Okay. And when I heard this song, I didn't know who it was. Why? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You tell me why. I'm not gonna tell the audience why. You tell me why we didn't know it was Libra. Tell me. Tell the audience. <laughs> Where everybody when they when they heard this song they thought it was some foreigners. <laughs> so did I. So did I. <laughs> I thought it was some foreigners. I was like, no, it's me and my sister Melanie. Because uh, when we did that song, um, Jenny already left the group to pursue a uh, um, career in, in uh, gospel with her husband. Okay. So that so that song was done by me. Melanie and I, Melanie, passed um, 1993. So, yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Sorry to hear that. I was about to ask you where she at the moment, but um, sorry to hear yeah. that. So, the third girl in the video, we did a video. The third girl in the video, that's another artist named Twiggy. Twiggy. I know who Twiggy yeah, is, but, yeah. <laughs> yes, but 54, 46 is just me and Melanie. Yes. And I that was the main it. reason why people didn't know that was Libra. Because that's why I didn't know, like, Libra, when, 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 when I heard that, I'm like, okay, that, yes, fine. But then when I mm-hmm. started listening to the tracks, I'm like, wait, this is why we can't find her. Because it's not Libra, it's 5446. That was the name of the group right. first, right? Right, so right. When I, when I, when I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, wait, from that group, from this big, mm-hmm. massive it from your dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but it was the massive hit from my dad first. <laughs> was it? Because <laughs> you, yes. you 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 you've got a track as well with your dad as well, isn't it? Same. Yeah, I've got fifty four forty six. You're right, right. And the and the EP, yeah. And the EP, a feature, yeah. But um, yeah, that um, when we all right, f- f- when it first started out, it was like L J M. So it's Libra, Jenny, and Melanie. Okay, but uh, we still that still didn't sit well with us. We wanted something to link us straight to our father. So okay. we thought about um, okay, let's run with Hebrew sisters, and then we said no, <laughs> no, you know. And then we came up with the idea of uh, fifty four forty six. Yes, and I tell you that mm-hmm. fifty four forty six, mm-hmm. it will forever reign. Just mm-hmm. it's it's never it can't go anywhere at all. Anywhere you really? go, dance song, yes. anywhere everybody's jumping. So you know that's a massive ch- um song. But before we go into um your achievement and so forth, um I just wanna um ask a few more questions um in case um just before we get into that side and before I get to that actually let me play this track um that we were just talking about with um you and your dad. Um, I'm hoping this is the right this is the right one. Um, this track here. Jump 
Okay, I tell you, this one here, mm-hmm. nice bass line to it as well. You know, I love this one as well. Believe you, yeah, me. man. The great Rabbi. Mm-hmm. Ah, I tell you about the <laughs> legends, man. I tell you about the legends. Yeah, Trust man. me, you see, nowadays music is not like what mm-hmm. it was back in the past. You know, yes. as I, I, I used to go to studio, and when you go to studio, it, 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 nothing has been digi- digitalized. It's all mm-hmm. raw made. The band is in there building the rhythm and the heart is in there chopping tune. You know, that's, a, that's how yes. true they use a nice. Nowadays yes. you go to shoot them and just plug up him laptop and just drop in a rhythm and man just DJ and that's it. Go on a road. Song yeah, bus. gone. Song bus. gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, Liba, let's just let's move on. Um mm-hmm. please share an experience collaboration with another artist or producer and um and how this have influenced your um creative progress or should I say creative <laughs> process then process yes your well my process. collaboration I've, I've i've worked with um Arkai and um blackout j a and now my dad <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah but um yeah i would speak of me and generally that we keep combination because generally know the streets there's a man yeah you need to get to you know because it means listen, history history listen, man you, know. I, history you don't man. need to tell me about that history man i know that history man but we haven't had a conversation yet i'm hoping we will have a conversation one day but they will that. tell you the full on dread <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna start praying about it. <laughs> so I generally, you know, he, he has taken me out of my comfort zone, you know, because you know, only my little lovey dovey song or whatever, sweet Charlie, you know, no, but you know, he said this is the way to go, you know. So I um, mean, told Sly to just give me the hardcore reading them. You know, what the man them, but we tap every man them they put. Yeah. <laughs> would them say I have a girl as well, innit? Yeah, because he say, you know, you can't manage it, Mike. You can't do it. And so it encouraged me to write, you know, because at some point, you know, people used to talk, say, so you can't write or whatever. But you know, that is my fuel, you know. Whenever you say I can't do it, yes. you know, watch, watch it, man. Determination watch it. kick in, overdrive. Mm-mm. Yeah, man. So that's what uh, um, Lee just pull out of me, you know. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll take it, you know. Yeah, great, great combination there, and and and, and trust me, um, you guys are doing some great production. Um, I must admit, you are doing some great production. Um, <laughs> you're, not, you're not yet. That's that's what that's why we're gonna ask <laughs> well, this question at the moment now, isn't it? <laughs> you're gonna hear something, all right? <laughs> okay. Um, so which um project or album of yours hold the most personal significance to you, and why? Mm, I would say the album that I produce. I'm going to get a bit selfish now because uh, <laughs> generally you're not listening, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to listen even if you know it's on YouTube, right? <laughs> yes, it's definitely on YouTube and it's streaming on the radio as well. So, and then when we put the interview up and launch it uh, probably tomorrow or the day after, then yeah, he's, he's got to find it somewhere. <laughs> I would say, you know, I would say my album because it's all sentimental reason to me, you know. I dedicated it to my son and, you know, I've been through a lot of, you know, sad stages of my life, you know. So I just dedicated this album to my son and my husband and, you know, so I'm going to say my uh, my album. Sorry, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave you and Mr. Lee to have that conversation after the interview. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've mentioned that you've done a combination you've done quite a few combination and um i've got one on the deck right now which i'm gonna play this mm. one is quite nice as well i like it as well i like the beat to it and it's one this one is with yourself and um blackout ja okay, okay. um this mm-hmm. one is actually on youtube as well most of the music um for Liba is on youtube um peeps but obviously we're gonna she's gonna share some more information 
based on where you can get um all her tracks and so forth so let's keep keep it going and we're going to play one of her combination that she's done um in the business this one is libra in combination with blackout J. Uh, said that your dad was his favorite artist <laughs> And of course, he said that you also, you're a great singer. <laughs> There's so much nice vocals on this one here, and I tell you that Thank it you. is so phenomenal to um, pick up a record, you know, that mm -hmm. track there, very nice beat, you know, the bomb bomb rhythm, it can't steal neither, very, very, yeah, yeah. very good rhythm um, as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move on a little bit more into um, a few more questions um, before, <laughs> you know, yes. Of course, we have to we have to keep it moving. We can't <laughs> one place, you know. So okay. We're gonna move on to um, achievement. Obviously, the group has um, um, acquired two Grammy, one in twenty fourteen mm -hmm. and one in twenty twenty one, right? Um, and I believe that for uh, the for the best reggae album, yeah, which is yeah. um, one is um go is it go to be tough? got to be tough got to be tough that's the one got to be tough and also mm -hmm. true love mm -hmm. yeah right 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 i believe getting a grammy is a great achievement yeah you know, because it don't take as they would say no little flan flan artists to get a grammy <laughs> yeah so this is why yeah. i say you you guys are on a different level it's not there's, there's artists out there that's been there longer than you guys and they haven't achieved what you've achieved okay how do you feel about um the very first experience just give us a little bit of insight on the very first experience on getting the grammy when you was nominated for that very first um album what do you well, about that? The, um, the True Love album, that's my father's album. But I, I will tell you that I also got a Grammy from being on the Sly and Robbie's album called Friends. Ah, there we go. <laughs> See, so you could come to like yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Well done and right. congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I would say, you know, it was... It's a great experience, you know, to be recognized, you know, like people love you, you know, love what you do, you know, the people love your songs. So it's success, you know, in in a lot of in a lot of ways because when when well up to, when people get a Grammy, say say album um won the Grammy, 
you see, you know, next year the tour of them turn up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. days and nights. You're, you're going to get work. <laughs> so, you know. And, so, and, you know. And it's good though, because you know what? Mm. You, every artist needs to be recognized for what they're doing, you know? Obviously, yeah. there are artists that are going to be putting in quite a lot of work extensively. And mm -hmm. they need to be, um, they, they need to be rewarded for it, you know? And yes putting out great music and nothing in return i believe that sometimes it demotivate artists as well you know artists putting in a lot of work and maybe they're not making as they're not getting recognition they're not yeah. getting that recognition it's like it's like a dj mm -hmm. you know? nowadays if you look mm -hmm. into the into the dj work you know dj world mm -hmm. where you have a dj just come on a man just buy a laptop and but download some track from youtube you know we never mm -hmm. never will a record in them on yeah yeah and the man them yeah. that out there that know the business that hold these records and know how to run up run that they don't get the bookings you know it's the other guys them that mm. running with them laptop and make two nice and get the girls them twerking and all of them things and that's it. i know it's yeah, yeah, yeah it's anyway it's, 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 i just said the system set up it corrupt isn't it? So it's a, yeah. and, and when you get an achievement you know you have you know that you're recognized you know yes yeah, somebody there mm. is listening mm. to your music and that knowledge and mm. you know what these guys they need to be rewarded yeah and your catalog turn up you know yeah, exactly, exactly. Turn up, you know, you know? your phone yeah. your phone can't rest yeah and that's a good thing everybody likes that's, that you know that's why you must make um good music you know for the longevity of it exactly yeah. exactly make i agree with music, you 100 mm. percent on that mm -mm. okay um so second grammy tell me a little bit about that one there Oh, for daddy, for daddy. For daddy, yeah. Tell me about daddy yeah. Grammy, you know, because daddy Grammy is still your Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the family Grammy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Running the blood. You, daddy gets yeah. two Grammy, you get a Grammy as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My father also gave me a Grammy because for too long, because, <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> because, you know, I did, I did some background. Yes, your so daddy know your great. Exactly, I have two, I have two grammys. But your, but your dad believed in you. You know, he believed in you, and he know that you're great. Yeah. And look, yeah, man, is that like an encouragement? Yeah, but that's how it is. Yeah. You know, mm. just like when 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 the kids them they home sometime and them want to do the horse shows and them don't want to do it, they mm. just encourage them to go five in it. Do that and then they yeah. get five pound in it. They go buy some sweets <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, it? So it is what it is. Mm. Um. That um that being said um Liba um another question mm -hmm. I want to ask you is um um what do you consider as sorry um I've asked you that question already um the question mm -hmm. I actually want to ask you is um where am I um here okay how would you compare your experience between performance and recording in the studio? Mm. <laughs> well. I prefer, I prefer to work on stage because you, you can't go back. <laughs> if you make a mistake. You can't rewrite, right? <laughs> you, can't, you can't go back, you know, just like, all right, like, when you're on the stage, you know, it's impulsive and you just, you know, you just think so and say, yeah, and the crowd say, Ray, and, yeah, man, it's going good, yeah, why are you? But in a studio now you think something and no no man no. I'm not feeling that you know that was say I'm not feeling that no sing this sing that sing that you know <laughs> it's much easier on stage to me for me but but you know, yeah, I can you know stage, people, but you have, while we were talking about stage you ever get um scared when you go on stage of course, yeah, I'll go get butterflies <laughs> every time before you go past stage. When you see like one twenty thousand people out there, like, what? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna miss still tonight, you know. Because we don't, you know, I'll go watch it back on YouTube and you start all all in. I'm like, Lord, I don't believe you. We should not do that, you know. You know, I tell, I, I'm going to tell a little secret. You know, I don't love too much myself. <laughs> It's so funny, but you don't, I don't when you love say to you watch don't, myself you, back. You don't, you don't like watching yourself back? No. You know what? Come to think of it, we're actually sailing in the same boat, you know? I don't, I like talking. I don't like talking, but when I don't like listening to myself talk. Right. Right. I rather sing. And I don't like taking pictures. Because I don't like look back at them. 
But then sometimes I, I look at them and someone's like, oh, that one, they look good, you know, you know, I should do it more after, you know, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they said to me, say, you know, you know, when you're in the wrong line of business, you know, if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to talk, if you don't want to take pictures, you don't want to do videos, oh my, please just add me to the video. But I just, <laughs> I just don't want to do it. But I have to do it, you know, because I have to support the e cream. It's a good yes, e cream. Indeed. Yeah. I guess all yeah. that shyness, you have to just leave it aside because obviously your role, what you're mm -hmm. doing, it mm -hmm. requires pictures, interviews, mm -hmm. and, some, yeah. and some video shoots as well. So <laughs> you, you got, you, you got to put on the nice lady in red dress, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I said big up to Simon as well. Big up Simon Core online. Um, big up yourself. Everything good. Big up um Miss P. Um, locked on this this way. Peeps, if you just join on, we've got Libra here, live and direct on ORS Global Radio. And um, mm -hmm. for those who don't know, she is the daughter of the great legend, Mr. Toots, past and gone but not forgotten. All right, mm -hmm. may God rest his soul. Um. Yes future plans and aspirations what are the long-term goals or aspiration as a recording artist what 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 are those for you well, right now it's just tours music more music because uh, I, have, I have something that i'm working on uh, a tribute album for my father Hey, yeah, that's gonna that be That is in the pipeline. Yeah. And I also have another album working on with General Lee. So, you know, just music. And I have to continue the legacy. And I'm also going to establish my own legacy as Libra. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work. There you go. Yeah, I have to take care of my family and, you know. And you, you're, doing, you're doing the right thing. And um, there's another question I'm going to ask. Um, but I'm, I'm going to play this track first before I even get into that. Because I believe that there's so many people in this world. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, they may know. Some people may not know. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that after we play this track. But this is the track I've been telling you about. And okay. this track, I need to know how can I get it on dub plate for the sound system. Because this track is a great track. Yeah, I say that without any apology because you know what? You see, life, we mm -hmm. need to be grateful for life. Mm -hmm. And this world needs to be better. Mm -hmm. You know, today we might yeah. wake up and we don't have a 50 pound. Yeah. Tomorrow, somebody might give it to you. Mm -hmm. And this chat that you've done, I love the rhythm and I love every verse in it. Listen to this one. You didn't expect that one, did you? Listen to this track here, and the rhythm is crazy. A, a veteran rhythm. Let, let, let me take it back from top. I don't want to talk over it because when I hear the, the drum rolling in them, like, Lord God, I, I will tell you how to sing that song, yeah, man. <laughs> That we music and the crowd. Positive vibration. Can't go wrong. Good conversation. Open up your heart. Bring back the light that shines within your soul. No other than me. The truth will be unfold. Access is planted. Come 
Yes, peeps. ORS Global Radio. But in the, in the driver's seat, we've got Libra live and direct right here on ORS Global Radio. I tell you, very interesting lady to talk to. Trust me. This track is titled Better Days. I said big up to the ways massive that locked on this way as well, alright? Everything good around here, you know. All this global radio to the world. I tell you, this lady <laughs> on the line. I'm telling you, I, I probably won't be able to sleep tonight because it's a pleasure <laughs> talking to this lady. And you, I've never met Toots in person and I've never met Levi mm-hmm. in person, but just mm-hmm. talking to you on the phone, the connection is just like, yes. You know, mm-hmm. good vibes. Yesterday we was talking on the phone and you were so patient. I'm like, wow. Or a <laughs> big artist like this, lady, <laughs> that sits on the phone, wait for me to get my bits and pieces together. I got to give you credit. No, but you're doing good for me too, right? Yeah, no, but what yeah, I'm saying so. is, so, uh, yeah. we all know that technology is a thing that it will play up unexpectedly. Mm. Look at it. We tested yeah. i came to the studio mm. early today did my test and everything mm. is fine and look mm-hmm. what the devil tried right uh, but now he's <laughs> shame again yeah it's good yeah it's a liba liba it's mm-hmm. a pleasure talking mm-hmm. to you you know i want to conclude yeah. this interview but before i conclude this interview um mm-hmm. obviously we know your dad is not here anymore and your sister mm-hmm. and i want to say condolences once again Mm-hmm. There is now, I believe that you are now the lead singer mm-hmm. for the group. I'm not right. sure if everybody knows that. Want to tell us a little bit about it? How did it all unfold? Okay. All right. Um. So the far band members they didn't want to be a part of my production, so I went ahead and you know got some some great players together. Well, 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 well sorry, sorry to say, sorry to say, you're not at last year. Okay, so I wish them all the best. Right. But they're missing out on progress. That's what I'm saying, you know. So, yeah, man, so, you know, one of the players is Gibby. You know, Gibby used to play it on Routine Fraser. Okay. We have um, the drummer who is from Livewire. And, you know, just some great singers. Yeah, some the singers are from Guju. You know, Nikki, Adina, and Krista. You know, so great singers and players of instruments. Great. You know, they're lost. And they've yeah. got a great singer with them as well. So, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Who yeah. jump? Who, 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 as I said, they, what? Jump ship? Yeah. If they jump ship, that's their, that's mm-hmm. their problem, not yours. Right. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You're doing a great job. Thank you. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavor. And I'm yes. sure that we're going to be hearing more great music from you as well. Definitely. But, definitely. Um, before I let you go, um, <laughs> I want you to, um, um, what encouragement would you give to new and upcoming artists and also the existing ones? You know, you've been, you, you haven't been here one year, two year, three year, uh, one decade. You've been here ages mm. and you're still striving. <laughs> You, know? you make me sound old, man. No, but the thing is, this you, you, you're not. You might be old in age, but physically, you don't look that old. There's got to be the blessing coming from somewhere. Okay, I, I would say, um, you know, don't sell yourself short. If you know this is what you want, you really want to do, just believe in yourself, believe in God, and believe in what you say and what you do. And you will never get weary. And my father have a song like that, you know, just believe. Amen. Mm-hmm. They have a saying that says, believe, kill and believe, cure, right? Right, right. You gotta take those chances, you gotta be courageous, right? Right. <laughs> that being said, um, Liba. Yes. Please, you wanna big up anyone around the world, send out greetings or anything like that? Well, I want to say, I want to tell everybody, first I want to tell them, if you want to book Libra, if you want to book Libra, um, you you go to 
Universal Attraction Agency. That's my booking agency. So, okay. you know, that's where you are. And then now, all the big ups now. <laughs> Oh, the big uh, up sorry, sorry, Lee, Lee, but sorry, before you get into mm-hmm. the big up, because I was going to actually ask you um, to leave those information, mm-hmm. but while you st- you're on the topic of um, of um, bookings, Booking agent. Yes, mm-hmm. um, let um, the listeners and the viewer know where they can find all your music and purchase them from. Okay, it's on all major platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Tindle. You know, just Google Libra or Libra Hibbert or Libra Thomas or Libra Hibbert Thomas. <laughs> That's me. That's all me. <laughs> and, and, and all of them is, is, is genuine pe- peeps, okay? They, 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 yes. They're no fake account, all right? Mm, right, right. Do you yeah. have YouTube channel as well? Yes, oh yes, YouTube. Okay. So peeps, mm-hmm. please support legend, buy mm-hmm. music, Okay, turn up to the concert. Yes. If you live in England, mm-hmm. go to the US, go to Jamaica, wherever she's performing. She's a great performer. I've seen her in action. I've seen her in action. So I've got no doubt. I would spend my money anytime to go and see her perform. Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so carry on with um, um, send up, send up the, your the greetings. Yes, to your greetings to your um, yeah, peeps around the world. Okay. Big up to all my fans, them. Big up to um, Sly, Jolly, Ranking Joe, always support me. Yeah. Um, Miss P. The <laughs> legend, Sue Miss Oliver. P. Yeah. Sue Oliver, um, King Tidal, Bass Plan, Papa Vito. Just all my fans, my family, friends, our loved ones, you know, just. Hey, big up to you, Indian, you know, bad Indian. Yeah, thank you, you know, for the interview, you know. You give us heavily. Yeah, on ORX. Yeah. Yeah, the new radio station that's mashing up the year we have right now. Yeah. I tell them 2024, they're my problem. All right? Yeah. Because you're amazing. Ah, you you see, it's like you're reading my mind. You're reading my mind. (laughs) There you go. Give us some more. We need a bit of acapella. Give us a ORS Global Radio Station. No play style. That's it. Baby, I love you. I wanna give you all my love. I wanna show you, but you just won't let me. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a great person. Uh, trust me. I, I, I love, you. I love the energy, and um, I'm hoping in the new mm-hmm. year we'll do a live we want to have you on the screen okay so right. if you don't have that red dress you can buy it for next year okay <laughs> yeah, so you... to get all glamour up then. <laughs> there you go there you go right now me now i'm tired <laughs> don't worry yourself at, at, at the night cap that right ready for bed <laughs> all right cool Listen, all right thanks again i really it. appreciate you i'm um, taking that time out and i want to say big up to your whole entire management team and booking agents as well and all mm-hmm. the supporters that you have um, sorry, and all the supporters that you've been working with, and where you are today, keep doing what okay. you're doing. And um, I'm, I'm hoping to speak to you at some point in the new year. Have a great Christmas when it comes, yeah, and thank you. a prosperous new year as well. And to Same all the listeners out there, that's Libra, mm-hmm. the daughter of Toots, one of the great legend that passed and gone, but his mm-hmm. memories still live on forever. Yes, okay. ma'am. and we're gonna yeah. leave you with this song. I know you were singing this song earlier, and I mentioned <laughs> that I was gonna drag you back a bit. But this is the song that you were singing, which is one of my nice, one of the songs that I love as well. You know, but I didn't want to okay. play that one at the time. I want to play it now. Okay. 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 Yeah, man. Thank you. Dear. That we musically proud. When you say Bucky Ranks, we be sent to the artist to do that video.
to say big shout out to the Jamaican crew that locked on a line as well, alright? Don't think we forget about you guys, okay? Big up to the Germany massive and the Indian massive as well that locked on. India, there you go, Germany crew. Um, Liba, mm -hmm. sorry, um, sorry, yeah. that track there, I know it's both mm -hmm. done between you and your sister as well, and I'm telling you, um, you know, back in the days when I used to hear these songs, I wouldn't have thought that I would Trends. have actually stand here tonight, mm -hmm. speaking to the person that actually Maybe. sung that song, yeah, um, it's, yeah. It's, it's amazing, it's a great feeling, and, yeah. and, and I love Thank it, you. you know, I'm hoping, well, I know I will be doing more. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll be coming to England, you know. Oh, there you go. That way we're going to make it more interesting. Uh, thanks. Yes, great, great stuff. Okay, Liba, Liba um, yeah. thank you again. And um, I'm going to let you go. I um, want to say okay. thanks to all the listeners. Big up to everyone down there in the wheels and the card if you're at Locked On this way. And big up to the Jamaican crew at Locked On as well. And um, all the other countries. Um, too many to name because um, I've been focusing on one side of the... Um, the, the um the, the service that we providing on the streaming because i'm i like the youtube thing you know but the radio platform i wasn't paying attention i didn't realize we got so many people over there but please don't think i'm being rude okay okay <laughs> liba listen enjoy the um, rest of your evening and um yes. big shout out goes out to you and the family once again and i'm um, hoping to see you when you come to the uk um yes. whenever time that is but you've got my details it's p got my details as well so yeah, we know how to make contact in the future right, okay. take, so take care. you look after yourself and all the best yeah. all right thanks take care bye for thank now you. thank you yeah man thank you bye bye okay peeps um that's liba the daughter of toots and i tell you when we talk about great artists with great standard and performance that's one of the hardest we're talking about okay all right we've got a couple more minutes to leave before we exit the building i'm gonna play um a song from an artist that i actually had the privilege to um have a conversation with a couple weeks ago and he is another great singer as well artist goes by the name mm, of king banton Okay, take a listen to this one here. I hear the same a lot of things, Master, I'm too eager. And I hope it's not true. No, no, no. Listen here, King Banton. Make yourself King Banton every time, alright? You don't want me. You don't need me. Not anymore. I hear them say you don't love me, you don't care for me, not anymore. Oh, no. Look at all those things I have been going through. Look at all this trouble that you made me feel. Now you have gone away and left me, girl. Trust me, great interview. Love the energy, man. Big of a self, Libra, once again. Watch out, watch out, watch out this Saturday night, all right? We're going to have Mr. Steel live and direct right here on ORS Global Radio. Watch out for that interview. It's going to be another interesting one, okay? Not the road of life is so rocky yes. And someday you might fall back in me And I will forgive you girl, I know that I will But you'll never get away Someone will make you pay I hear they say in a lot of things But I just can't believe a word No, 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 no,
You don't need me. But you want to get away. You want to go away. I hear them say you don't want me. You don't need me. Not anymore. I hear them say you don't love me. You don't tell me. Not anymore. I hear them say you left me stranded. You left me all alone in misery. Lola! When you cry, it's probably because you're losing the war. Let's take this one here from the man himself, Mr. Right now. Ken Booth, track title to the crane over you. Let's go and left me all alone. I would like to express myself. When this is Rocky Ranks represent, you can go by as close as the radio. That's what I'm trying to say. Minutes leave inside the studio, all right? Then I'm out the building. But don't forget, Saturday nights we're gonna be right here on ORS Global Radio, giving you some more reggae alongside some dance hall settings, all right? But don't forget, we're gonna be joined by the man himself, Mr. Steel, another great reggae artist, all right? So watch out for that one. Once a big shout out goes out to Miss P, everything good, all right? Say big shout out go to the talk of the town music. All right, big up to Nadia and the whole crew. Bigger Anelia and big up herself. Okay. Feel I'm losing you, baby. I can feel I'm. 
This one here, Mr. D Brown, Chuck Tire to the Money in My Pocket. The one before that was the man himself, Mr. Ken Booth. Featured two pieces from him, right? Okay, so whatever you're doing in and around the capital right now, I want to say big up yourself, alright? Just remember, if you can't be good, be careful in whatever you do, okay? If you're heading out to work, be safe. If you're heading in, be safe, alright? Was a big of the Simon down there in the Cardiff era, big of yourself, all right? All the ways massive that locked on this way, big up yourself. This one here, the man himself, second time around, Mr. Barrington Levy, Chuck Titan, look you man. Look inside, 
Yes, Simon, indeed. Big myself. All right, and thanks again to everyone that locked on. Libra, big myself one more time. Okay, Simon, big myself every time. All right, have a great Christmas as well. And trust me, we're definitely going to make a link, all right? We're going to be down there in the COVID area some point next year, okay? We're going to keep you posted with that, all right? ORS Global Radio, bad in the driver's seat right now, all right? This is what we do right here on a Wednesday evening. Reggae and vocal selection And don't forget Saturday night coming The Reggae and Dancehall Explosion Show It's all about Steel is going to be Live and direct with us Alright 11pm sharp UK time This one, John Holt, Chuck Titan, Tribal War. War is over, alright. Tribal War. We don't want no more at all. Tribal War. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a couple more minutes to leave. Then we're going to be out of the building. All right. I'm going to drop this one from the legend is past and gone. And as you heard, um, I just literally had an interview with his daughter. Um, this is man, Mr. Toots. <laughs> Success could have never be another one. And I'm representing for ORS Global Radio. Play music and give them ego. Damn.
turning lights down low And turn down you in the curtain Oh, our rest will come shining Into your lives again Oh, oh, I rest love you But today isn't dying Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Yes, I, ORS Radio Turn it up Till it buck Music, make your ears full up Well, this is Bucky Ranks Representing ORS Global Radio I want to say global radio I mean, right around the world You can listen to this radio station I rated them five star Five star Carol This one from another legend. By name out, God Almighty, and show me who I try to hurt me. By name out, God Almighty, and show me who I try to hurt me. By name out, God Almighty, and show me who I try to hurt me. God Almighty, and show me who I try to hurt me by the mouth. God Almighty, and show me. Who okay, London Talk, gonna squeeze in a couple more and then I'm out of the building, alright? But don't forget, you can catch me back here Saturday night from the hours of 9 until 12. And we'll be joined by Mr. Steel, alright? Another great reggae artist, okay? So watch out for that interview as well. Coming at you, okay? I want to say thanks to everyone that locked on every week. I want to say a big up to all our subscribers in and around the capital. Please help and support the channel. You know we're putting in a lot of work and we've got to make it work, all right? Hard work and dedication bring forth success. That's my belief, okay? Say big up to the presenters and big up to the whole entire management team in and around the capital as well as also our promotion team, all right? Try and squeeze in another one before we leave the premises, all right, Mr. Bucky Ranks. You don't know I'm Mr. Chess, could I never be another one? And I'm representing for ORS Global Radio. Play music and give them ear go. Turn your lights down low. And turn down your window curtain. ORS will come shining. Into your lives again. Oh. Oh, I always love you, but today isn't dying. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Yes, I. Oh, I race radio. Turn it up till it buck. Well, this Music is Bucky make your ears full up. O R S Global Radio. I want to say global radio. I mean, right round the world. You can listen to this radio station. I rated them five star. Five star. You know what the vice of Patex I represent for the baddest thing I'm a bad Indian. The hottest DJ mixing the beats. 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 <laughs>